Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shah and welcome to my YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. So today in this video we will see one of the biggest MNC's interview question that is KPMG. Okay, so uh, KPMG's interview question, data engineering interview question, I got, got it from my uh, uh, LinkedIn um, connection. Okay, so uh, one of my LinkedIn connection posted this question. So from there I have collected it and I'll try to uh, solve it by my approach. If you have any another approach, you can uh, you can comment on the video comment section with your approach. Okay, so that everybody uh, can see it and can get the benefit of that of this. Okay, so without wasting time, let's start this video. Okay, so coming to our workbook okay so what they ask they have given one data frame like this okay product where uh, we have product uh, product a b c d and we we have the three months sale january february march uh, 150 uh, 150 rupees sale 200 rupees sale 100 rupees sale and for B it is 250, 300 based on that C and D. Okay. So what they want? They they want the data. They 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 want to transform the below data frame means this data frame to a new data frame where it will contain columns, product, month, sales. So in new data frame the uh, data will be like this product month then the sale amount okay so they want the data like this so i am showing so they want the data like this in excel i have all uh, taken the data format okay so you can see whatever we have in the uh, column level we need to get this thing in row level so when we have this kind of scenario, so column level thing, we need to take it to the row level. Okay. So sales also, uh, it will come like this okay, as its uh, value. Okay. So whenever we have this kind of scenario, that time, what we need to use? We need to use unpivot. So what is unpivot? That I will that I will tell you here. But before that, if you don't know the pivot, you can go to my channel. Here I have the pivot video. Okay, so you you can go through it. We uh, here I have lots of video interview questions also real time scenarios based question. There are lots of video uploaded. Total eighty I think eighty uh, eighty seven videos eighty nine videos uploaded. You can go and watch it. And please support us. Uh, I I can see 90% of the viewers daily coming to our the page and come coming to our channel and seeing the videos, but not subscribing. They, they, this is not okay. They are, you also need to support us. Without you guys support, we can we can't grow our channel. Okay, so please support us and be with us. Uh, uh, we we are always with you guys to help you. Uh, for these interview scenarios and question solving okay so coming to our topic uh, so please go and watch uh, uh, in our channel the pivot what is pivot and how to do the pivot thing okay or uh, uh, full explanation i have given in in that video the pivot scenario with the pipework database uh, playlist you will get the pivot video there you will get get the full explanation okay so coming to this so here um, first uh, we need to do the pivot so uh, we need to do the unpivot it is pivot is already done we need to do the unpivot so column level uh, column level thing we need to take it uh, get, get the thing in row level okay we need to get the data like this for this so da final equals to df dot unpivot we'll use the unpivot function first 
first I need to pass the identifier. So if you don't know the unpivot thing, you can go to Spark um, uh, guidelines, Spark uh, uh, what what it is called the in Spark API reference. Okay, so here you can see unpivot thing. Okay, the uh, for uh, what you need to pass and all open the parameter in unpivot um, function okay first we have identifier then whatever column you need to you need to un unpivot that you need to pass after that the column name and co column value where it is stored the that that column name. okay so I, i'm explaining here okay so first i will pass the identifier so my identifier would be the product product column so first i will pass it product okay so next next what will be what will you do next thing will be which columns we need to unpivot january february and march sales okay so this column uh, will we want this column to present in the row level so this we need to unpivot so jan sales Jan sales, Feb sales, and March sales. Okay. So now it's done. So now, now we can pass one another parameter. So here, what what parameter I need to pass? The column name. The column name. After un unpivoting the um, uh, the columns, this columns, this will this will get it in our row layer. Okay, so row wherever the row will get stored, that column name. Okay, that column name will be month. So as it is a column name, I need to keep it in single inverted comma. Okay, so now after that, one another parameter. So these column names, okay. This col these these all are the column. We have the value, okay. So for st uh, for storing this value, I need to put one column. So sales, okay. So basically, ये जो value है, ये तो column level, ये basically यहाँ पे पहले column level में था. January का sales, February का sales, March का sales. उसको जब अनपिवर्ट कर रहा हूँ उसको रो लेयर पे ला रहा हूँ एक एक रो पे तो उसका तो वैल्यू देना पड़ेगा मुझे तो बे, उसके बेसिस पे एक सेल्स नाम का कॉलम होगा जहाँ पे वो वैल्यू स्टोर हो जाएगा ठीक है दैट इज द थिंग तो नाउ डिस्प्ले डिस्प्ले और यू कैन यूज शो फंक्शन तो एनी थिंग यू कैन यूज तो रनिंग so this is the databricks new ui okay if you want you can turn on it or turn off it okay so this is very much fabulous for me <laughs> i'm really liking this ui okay so you can see now we are getting the data whatever we want okay so this is the thing now you can check it from here you will get the data so this was the first question one question okay we have another question okay in the same round they have asked another question okay so i'll come to that so the another question is this they have given us one data frame okay so it's like a e-commerce website data frame uh, they okay they have given us the user id the product category the activity by the user id and uh, the timestamp the timestamp uh, they they have not mentioned any kind any kind of uh, uh, hour minute second okay just only the date they have mentioned in timestamp okay so as it, it was the interview question they have given like this okay so here what they want i think you have understood what what is the data the user each and every user id they have provided each and every user, uh, which timestamp, the which kind of activity they have performed based on that, they have given one data set. Okay. 
तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स के कैटेगरी पे के व्यू हुआ ये ये टाइम स्टैम पे वो यूजर वन से इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कैटेगरी से परचेस हुआ ये टाइम ये टाइम स्टैम में यूजर यूजर आईडी ये यूजर वन से ओके दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग ओके तो ओके तो व्हाट दे वांट शो द काउंट ऑफ एक्टिविटी टाइप फॉर ईच प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी तो ईच प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी से कितना एक्टिविटी परफॉर्म हुआ ईच प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी में कितना एक्टिविटी परफॉर्म हुआ वो निकालना है ओके दैट थिंग वी नीड टू एक्सट्रैक्ट तो फ्रॉम ईच ईच प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी हाउ मेनी एक्टिविटी दे हैव द यूजर हैव परफॉर्म फॉर ईच प्रोडक्ट कैटेगरी व्यू हाउ मेनी परफॉर्म परचेस हाउ मेनी परफॉर्म दैट वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड ओके आई एम शोइंग यू द आउटपुट दिस विल बी आवर आउटपुट we need to check this okay so i'm showing you how to get this one. so as they they re required the thing like this they they ask they are asking to get the product product category to get the product category okay so um, based on the purchase and view okay the activity based on the activity state so here what is it is happening whatever we have in the row level that we need to take it to the column level the purchase and view so in that case we need to do the pivot we need to use the pivot function so here we have used the uh, unpivot as we we were doing the we were taking the column level thing the column level thing to the row level and uh, here we are doing the opposite thing the row level thing to the column level so what we will do df1 final okay equals to df1 so if you don't know how to do the pivot please as i told you please go to this playlist pyspark and database in cognitive coders our uh, channel uh, please go to this playlist and you will get the uh, the pivot uh, wala video okay the pivot full explanation i have given there you can easily understand okay just go through this video and come come back to this video you will get the full clarity clarity full clarity you will get it okay so uh, i i will also uh, give give the video to, uh, link to i button you can also check it there okay so after that also if you have any doubt you can connect with me in linkedin uh, in my instagram uh, or telegram okay all the links has been given to the video description okay so now we will do the pivot first we need to um, perform the group by so we will do the group by uh we will do we need to do the group by we need the product category first okay based on the product category they want the purchase and view so group by you need to perform on product category product category okay so after that we need to do the pivot pivot where in to perform the view and purchase we need to take it in the column level so on activity type on activity type column we need to perform the pivot activity type okay then we need to do, we need to get the count okay so now i'll get the count display then the Day one final. Okay, now we'll run the cell for getting the output. Okay, so I'm getting the output. You can see it. You can see it. But here it is. Okay, I'm getting null as there is no purchase on book category. Okay, so I'm not getting uh, the 
want they want zero as a value they don't want none so in that case what i need to do i need to i need to do some validation okay null validation in our, in my code so null validation how to do it that i also explain that i also explain in my uh, in my real time scenario video okay uh, the real time scenario playlist here it is here it is already shown you can go and watch it okay and i also provide you the i link in the i button okay so now uh, now we can do it so dot na dot fill zero so um, with zero we can fill the null they are, they told us okay so not zero okay now i am getting the output same like they want okay i think you have understood the concept okay if you have any kinds of doubt you can directly reach out to me uh, via linkedin and instagram or you can uh, join our telegram channel or whatsapp channel for getting daily updates and you can participate on the uh, quiz all daily quiz also in, in our telegram channel and also what uh, youtube community okay please 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 do if you like my video please do like share and subscribe our youtube channel cognitive photos okay you guys support is really much required for us for growing our channel okay uh, without you you guys support we can't grow okay please 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 do do like share and subscribe so thank you for watching our video bye